Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. El Popo still showing signs of life. Of course, this is an active volcano to say the least. Now, uh, on average, there's about a thousand to two thousand active volcanoes around the world at a time, but this one has been more active than others. Plus, the potential of a bigger eruption is one of the huge concerns out of this. I want to show you what a Plinian eruption means. A look back at Mount St. Helens ahead. Plus, I want to get into the Caribbean as well with some of that dust moving in, but this is some of the imagery from yesterday morning. This here yesterday itself, and yeah, El Popo does this every once in a while. Uh, with that said, nine months ago it was more active, but the last week, the last couple weeks, it has been way more active. Large ash plumes, and the fear is you get a big one, a plenty of eruption, which would give us that uh, big uh, debris flow and potentially cause catastrophic issues like this here. This is Mount St. Helens back in 1980. A Plinian eruption, which I'll talk more about in a second, is those just kind of, I want to call it classic, but one of those kind of a, a classic type of, of volcanoes you may think about where everything goes up in a huge way and gets way high into the sky. It can impact the weather, much like Mount St. Helens did. Sometimes it can impact the hurricane season. Years ago, there was a quieter hurricane season in parts of the Pacific, and we believe that was thanks in part to some of the ash that was in a couple of the layers of the atmosphere because of a volcanic eruption. So it all gets tied together even with the weather. Now, here's where El Popo is, very close to uh, Mexico City. Caribbean here, Atlantic, Gulf of Mexico, United States, and again, as we look at Central America and Mexico here. Now, zooming down, here's Mexico City. Here's uh, Puebla. Uh, most of the uh, action has been moving down toward, as far as the ash goes, down to the south and uh, west at this time. Last week and a few days ago, it's a little more down to the uh, southeast, but we're seeing it more stretching down to the south and a little bit of a westerly component. That's where the ash has been going as of late, so actually staying away from Mexico City, but of course, extremely highly populated in all these areas. Here's the Gulf of Mexico, and if there were to be a bigger eruption, of course, that would get out there, up there in the atmosphere, and uh, kind of uh, tweak the weather, change the weather some in parts of the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean, especially if this were to happen as we get closer to the hurricane season. As it stands now, there's a stoplight system as far as uh, letting the word out about alerts in Mexico. It's on the yellow and it's a phase two, which means basically everyone is ready. Uh, there's those evacuation uh, practices and things like that. It could, yes, it could just skip the phase three and go right uh, to the uh, red. I hope not. Hopefully it stays a uh, phase two or less. Uh, but as of now, a phase two yellow alert, that's a very heightened alert. Now the plenty of eruptions is the most explosive type of eruption in a volcano. You get those high ash clouds, like I was showing you in that old uh, uh, shot there of uh, Mount St. Helens, massive flows. So you get the huge ash cloud, and then you get the debris flows could blow out the side of the mountain. And again, just absolute devastation wherever that uh, debris flow goes. They could reach up the uh, actual explosion uh, and the eruption in that uh, kind of cloud of debris could lift up into the air, uh, reach upwards of about 30,000 feet or six miles in the sky. That's not 9,000 meters or nine kilometers. That ash could really shoot up there and then it gets up there. It's windy up there, higher levels of the atmosphere, and that could take the ash across oceans. So that's how it kind of plays into things. Now, in uh, these types of volcanoes, a very thick, uh, uh, very uh, pasty magma. So everything's kind of sticky below. So it kind of holds in the gases. Everything's really sticky, but at some point, if the gases build up enough, you get that Plinian eruption, that huge eruption that shoots way high into the sky. So keeping an eye on that, Weather-wise, things are looking good across much of Mexico. Dust is about to move into the uh, Caribbean, so we're going to see more and more of that moving in. And here's the tail end of a front that is going to bring us that chance of some showers. Puerto Rico, for example, British and U.S. Virgin Islands, a chance of some showers. But the dust itself, the next three days, it will be at its worst. Moderate levels of dust could get a little bit thicker as we get closer to the hurricane season. That's usually when we get some bigger rounds of dust. But this is some moderate levels of uh, dust. That means if you have any breathing issues, they could be a little bit worse the next few days. So thinking of you, by the end of the week, some of the dust should lessen. But it's going to stick around in some spots because we just don't have a lot of rain in the Southern Caribbean. Here are the showers today. You see uh, Haiti uh, may catch a shower, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Antigua, and Barbuda.
Elsewhere, not a lot. Even Panama and Costa Rica, where we actually need to get some rain in Panama. I was highlighting the Panama Canal issues in a few videos ago. Uh, rain chance is not too high, but the tail end of the front, giving us that chance of a few showers. Even tomorrow, you see across the DR, this is our Tuesday afternoon. Spotty showers possible, no washout, but northeastern Caribbean, that's where we'll see a slightly higher chance of rain. And again, keeping an eye on any of the uh, issues on going with El Popo. Uh, here, spotty shower again as we work our way into our Wednesday. The bigger picture, a couple things going on here. Here's that front that is leaving the Atlantic region of Canada. I'll zoom down in a second. There's the tail end of the front. Very nice weather. Bahamas, back toward Florida, the Florida Keys. And then we look at another system starting to move into the heart of the United States. And you see here, now this is by our Tuesday afternoon. There's a severe weather potential. Tornadoes possible as we get into parts of the Midwest right here as we get into tomorrow night and early on Wednesday. Potential of some uh, tornadoes and some wind damage in this area of the United States. But here's the next front that moves through. It's all associated with that. This is a Wednesday afternoon. And then as we move forward into Thursday, another system moving into parts of Canada and the Pacific Northwest. And then by the end of the week, there's going to be some moisture building near Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas and across the northern Gulf. So we'll see how close some of this moisture eventually gets to the Caribbean. We'll fine tune that together as we get into later in the week. But one system leaves leaves across the Atlantic region of Canada. Another one moves in. Here's Pennsylvania. You get over toward Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Newfoundland. We get a little bit of a break as we head into our Tuesday. There's that severe weather potential coming out of the Midwest, and there's some of the rain that will return. This is as we get into our Wednesday morning. So another system coming in. You get toward uh, Nova Scotia. We'll see that rain chance higher on our Wednesday, and then just kind of scraping across as we get into Wednesday evening. Northern zones, we'll see some of that snow in spots. So so Jamaica, some spotty showers possible, about a 30% chance, 20% chance in the Cayman Islands. Get back toward Trinidad and Tobago. Now, Trinidad, Tobago, and I'm just going to run through a few spots here. Uh, Barbados, uh, you get toward St. Lucia. Uh, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, you see the rain chance staying kind of minimal, but these locations where some of the dust will be thickest. So keep me posted in the comments. If you do have the dust, leave your location as well. Martinique will have some dust around rain chance 20%, 20 to 30% chance from Dominica and back through Guadeloupe. Couple passing showers possible. 20 to 30% chance, Antigua and Barbuda, and a 30% chance the next couple days, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. 30% chance the next three days, Anguilla and St. Bart's. Next two days, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia, isolated shower chance. Puerto Rico, it's elevated though. The uh, front kind of just skimming us by, so a 50% chance of rain. Same thing for us in the British Virgin Islands and U.S. Virgin Islands. Not a washout, but a 40 to 50% chance of those showers. Dominican Republic, scattered showers are going to stay in the four forecast, about a 20% chance in Haiti. Rain chance though, as we work our way to the Bahamas, as I mentioned, some beautiful weather. Could see a passing shower, Turks and Caicos, especially in our southern and uh, eastern zones. As we get back toward uh, Cuba, rain chance stays very minimal the next three days. 10 to 20% chance as we work our way toward Belize and a 10 to 20% chance in the Yucatan of Mexico. We get back toward Aruba, rain chance 20%. ABC Islands, also some dust around Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. Let me know if you do have any of that dust. The next three days a little bit thicker. Bermuda in between systems looking good. 10 to 20 percent chance. Very limited. Costa Rica and Panama mainly dry in Panama. Guyana and Suriname. The rain chance is not high and yes we have some of that dust that has rolled in from the Atlantic. 20 to 30 percent chance of a shower in northern Venezuela. So watching El Popo. The eruptions ongoing. If I see anything bigger of course I'll let you know uh, right away. Showers around Puerto Rico uh, today and the Dominican Republic. Dust increasing the next two to three days. So lower air quality as we go throughout much of the week. So thank you for being part of this uh, weather community, subscribing to this uh, channel and sharing it with others. I appreciate that. I'll go through your comments throughout the day. Have a good day ahead.